Is Archer better BM, the light heavyweight champion of the world? But as exciting as his time in the ring has been, as we take a look at the tail of the tape, a slight height and reach advantage for the southpaw, Marcus Brown. The lineal light heavyweight champion putting that title on the line, but that doesn't mean that he's losing control of the fight. Because we have seen better BF not give away rounds in the early going, and those are the three times that Jean Pascal caught him, and it's the same shot that he's been caught with in previous fights as well. And he does not want to do that against a big puncher like Better BF here tonight. But so far, he's slipped out of those hooks nicely, but not staying straight in line in front of Better BF. This is how you would like this fight to look. Absolutely, Marcus Brown is boxing brutally from the outside, but it's still very, very early. We know Better BF doesn't get off to crazy fast starts in the story like this. Nice jab from Marcus Brown. Not a lot of jabs from better BF so far. Tricky guy, fast feet, fast hands. Beautiful drop by Marcus Brown to get out of that corner. In his first uh, defense in front of his hometown crowd. You know they're gonna go wild when he starts landing some good clean shots. Body, 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 and finish head, okay? Boom, boom, everything we did at the gym. Final 10 seconds of round two. Not a lot happening, but Marcus Brown, the busier fighter, certainly landed more shots here in the second round, and you'd have to think. That's two rounds in the bank for the challenge. Inside and work. But better BF typically, not typically, has always <laughs> found his opening 100% of the time. Has started to slip a little bit, like he might be on the back nine of his career. And it's those people who think that Marcus Brown has a very real shot in this fight, and Brown is proving those people right. shot there from Better BF. Brown, of course, a part of that 2012 U.S. Olympic team that is just absolutely Go stacked. Go home, send him home. Because now he just focus on me because he don't want to get knocked out. Surprise to the head at the end. Good defense, good defense, Arthur. Very good. Daryl Spence Jr., his stablemate, Larissa Shields, and his other stablemate, Jamel Herring. But it's exactly those sequences where he's found himself in trouble in the past. You guys want to be leaning against some ropes against a guy like Better B out. Beautiful right hand down there. But Brown throwing some heavy shots too and crying in the back far there. Get off his foot, man. Couple quick punches by Marcus Brown up the middle there. To your point, Steve. Don't punch it, don't punch it, Brown punch finding himself. Oh, that is a nasty gash from the forehead of Better B out. Let's. See if we can catch this clash of heads. Right, the point there is was you. Unfortunately, tested positive for COVID. We send our best wishes to Russ. To Russ. As right, things getting a little point messy point here on the inside. If he has any any dream to win in this fight, he cannot let Arthur Better be a bully him around and box bang him around. body shot from better BF as he goes back downstairs with the left hand. You can just hear the power of better BF. Marcus Brown throwing hard shots to the body in response as well. You have to hand it to him. There's the possibility that better BF is only being given one more round. But of course, it's a clash of heads. 
with some good hard shots, with a good overhand right. That's what started the barrage for better Diaz. That's him a headbutt, so Corey, I'm not sure the exact rules. Do they go to the scorecards? They go to the scorecards, yeah. But well, Brown had a couple good early rounds. Off his foot, man! Arthur, get off his foot! Michael Griffin warning better be a step on Marcus Brown's foot. This is better work from better be This is where he wants to be. He wants to keep his guy trapped in the rope. A beautiful jab by Brown, the the Diaz. And I've accidentally or on purposely stepped on the foot of an orthodox fighter. And I've been, never been threatened to get a point taken away. A good little short left hand and the knee. That's good work from better Diaz. Three and four. Oh, a good right hand by Better Biev. 20 seconds left to go in the round as Better Biev finding some openings. He landed a good right hand. Brown trying to counter off the ropes, but Better Biev just overwhelming him right now. And Brown just covering up as the seconds tick away. Absolutely. Like we said earlier, sometimes it takes a little bit to get going. Uh, but now he's almost in full throttle here by the end of that last round. Good left hook from Better BF. Freezes Brown along the ropes. That's a good left hook good by Better BF. I feel when he's backing himself in that corner, he can't go anywhere. And that is uh, an easy night for Better BF. Don't push him, don't push him, don't push him. The blood just flowing from Better Diaz's forehead, though. Oh, a beautiful one-two by Better Diaz. He's behind it with a good left hook, and there's that right hand that he just wraps around the guard of Marcus Brown. So good landing by Better Diaz. Has been when Marcus Brown is stuck in the corner or stuck in the wall. Better oh, Diaz leaps in. Right hand. Leaps in with a jab, comes behind him with a right hand, and Brown barely stays on his feet. We've seen that power jab from Better Biev a couple times over the last two rounds as well. I feel that now that uh, Marcus Brown has slowed down a little bit, I feel that he has a little more confidence to throw that power jab and really push Marcus Brown in the corner. So he can unload like he's doing here. Tough man to contend with when he feels that he has you hurt. Good oh, shot to the body. Beautiful left hook to the body. And a right hand right behind it, and Marcus Brown will take a knee. One minute and change is an eternity for the only world champion in boxing with a 100% knockout ratio. And Corey, to point some note, as I talked, as we mentioned earlier, um, better be at, isn't just an aggressive, tough fighter. He's skilled and smart to take away the left hand when he has Marcus Brown the ropes and dig those shots to the body. He's a very, very smart fighter, just like he did right there and scoops that right hook or that specialty shot. Brown still trying to recover. Better BM, you see. Brown just stationary. Better BM's able to turn him. He's able to get different angles. Ten seconds remaining here in round seven. Even with the blood flow, you gotta give so much credit to the champion out of Better BM. He's creating these angles. He's using Marcus Brown's body to push him and sidestep him. Possible what he has left. He's had a lot of big shots. And like I said earlier, 
it, Corey. Just the constant pressure and the threat of better BL is enough to drain him. Come on, Jump Young. Knockouts, you know, he's got some strength and some power. He's shot there for Mark. He's shot there. Come on, let him be Left hand down the seconds. middle. From the challenge. Another good right hand from Better BF. You got to see it yourself. It just seems like Better BF just has so much more power and so much more. Strength behind his punches than Marcus Brown does. And it's a straight right hand underneath. Well, that Left. one, but the one from Vancouver from the early 1900s, about the box was covered in blood. And yeah. The oh yeah. Hold it's starting to look like that. One. Round nine begins. And again, to Marcus Brown's credit, he's hurt, but he's trying to make adjustments. But now he might really be hurt with better BM over him, oh, and no. down he goes after a hard left uppercut. Four, five, six, How much more can seven, Marcus Brown take? Eight, nine, ten. Well, I'd love, love to see the replay. I don't know if it was a left hook uppercut to the body. to the body. And still, WBC and IBF. Uh, Light heavyweight champion of the world, Arturo Beto.